A Darkness at Sethron, which is the third one in the third, Rift War saga. Yeah. yeah, or fourth, depending on whatever like books. Magician split into two. Split into two books, yeah. Um, honestly, I thought it was a good third uh, third book. Mm. The first half of the book was good. Right. And then the last of the book, part of the book, was shit. Um, so anyway, it goes. Basically, this is just the wrapping up. It's like the wrapping up of the story. Like mm. uh, they've gotten to the end of it, and they're trying to defeat the yeah. bad guy, and the bad guy is like climbing in. So like things set up in book one that yeah. kind of come into a head in this. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So we'll do a rating, and then we'll sort of pick it to pieces, I suppose. Okay. Um. I give this one a six. Okay. I, I, like I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the whole series as a whole. But it had good stuff at the start. Mm. And it was terrible at the end. And I feel like uh, Raymond E. Fleiss has a lot of this stuff going on where he has really good ideas, but he doesn't know what to do with them. Mm, okay. Yeah. So that's that's, a, that's yeah. my one. Um, well, initially, because I read this uh, a few months ago or whatever, I gave it a seven, but I'll probably say a six in hindsight now as well. Mm. Um, I certainly enjoyed a lot of it, but kind of the plethora of like different key players and it's like oh this fucking god thing yeah comes out of well not out of nowhere like you've heard about them but yeah. like suddenly they're like a do you feel like um character now and it's like, it relies on a lot of the other books as well like you probably had to rely on some of the other books to oh definitely like, definitely i mean and that's not like a flaw um it's just kind of the what reality what of is, some yeah. series where like you can't just read yeah. book three whatever um, I did enjoy kind of it was like Pug and Thomas had like this whole thing together where they go through the dimensions and the dragon yeah, or whatever. yeah it was some like of a... it was a bit weird but it was like cool going through like it was like this hallway of like the different gods and stuff is that right? or like portals to planets or oh, different yeah, yeah, dimensions yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or whatever. The, there's a hallway to portals to different planets and stuff and then they catch up with um, Macross again yep and he's like lost pretty much all his powers but he has like the wisdom to like kind of guide them yeah on the way um what where i kind of got lost was with gee that's i guess is it that's uh, it's black gee black, black gee um and like that fortress in this forest that's like no one knows about and he's like become their leader and yeah and then there's like a battle I, with i think it's like a continent whatever. area or whatever it's like it's like over mountains or something yeah there's mountains there yeah. yeah it's like um over these mountains is like another continent and you can only yeah. get in you can't get out and he yeah. went there to like be an emissary or whatever and then he turned out to be like the like the sort of ruler there kind of thing yeah but like the bad guys also in that area yeah yeah and like that's kind of secluded because like i guess b why people can't get back out is like they're trapped by these is by it the creatures or what i think it is creatures i can't remember or the Moradel or the Mor or... i think it's the the dark elves and something else eh? Because... right yeah that's where i'm kind of getting lost where it's like yeah. all these different things it's there was like, a lot going on at that point yeah, yeah i can't quite keep track of it all which is probably the biggest negative for me yeah yeah i i can i can agree with that um yeah, I definitely like the buddy cop feel with uh, Thomas and, mm. and Pug. It was, it was, it did feel like a buddy cop thing. It was a highlight for the. And uh, they even like revisited the Valharu, like the whole like Thomas ended up meeting himself as the oh. Valharu, and like that was a whole like right, yeah, yeah, yeah. like almost um when you let your meet your past life incarnation, yeah. that was very cool. I enjoyed that. Um, like I said, lots of great ideas in here, but I don't know whether they're like. Um, uh, fleshed out in the proper way like macross ah oh, i'm dead I've, cl I've shut the portal oh yeah. wait a minute the portal's like i could just open another portal yeah um macross um, is dead again and whatever yeah. he's lost oh no he's alive but he just lost his powers yeah. how'd you get trapped here ah oh, don't know like fucking time's going backwards or some shit and the way they fucking got out of that was bullshit as well how did they get out of the camera pug turn time backwards so much oh yeah, yeah that they like went in a loop or something yeah stupid like like time the was taking place slower or faster within this bubble or, yeah. yeah it was like um 
the episode of Futurama where they go back in time and like they screw something up but the time machine only works in one way it only works forward or something or only works backwards so they have to oh, keep okay. going backwards in time and then like make another universe and like right. wait until the right period of time to get out wow and it's like they've made a whole another universe but everything happened the same right yeah it was oh, it just I don't know it sounded a bit dumb to me I reckon this could almost be um, going off what you said like things were fleshed out I think this should have been longer or two books or something I think it could have been two books. I think that the whole um, Thomas part, Thomas and Pug should have been one book, and the whole Black Gee could have been a book. Like almost, yeah. Like um, Silver Thorn worked so well because it was a Ruta and his men doing stuff. Yeah, and it was just like a cool quest. And then it was like, oh, Pug's doing this other thing. Yeah, and then yeah, like, yeah. but that was like <laughs> cool at the end, you know what I mean? Like Pug's yeah. doing this other thing at the end, but yeah. um, it was mainly based doing that one thing like it was a well thought out idea that he'd had mm. and he executed it pretty well yeah whereas in this one it's like fuck I've got to wrap up all these bits and pieces that I've written yeah um but do you remember anything about the end like war thing like with the bad guys like the big ma- magic gods things um there's like the stone that Thomas ended stabbing and then it was like oh, you don't remember a fucking thing about it don't you give me that shit I remember like those details and there was like like the Moradel were tricked into serving this other thing yeah the snake gods or whatever yeah um uh, it's bullshit <laughs> <laughs> it's all bullshit <laughs> um sorry to say like um I know a lot of people like the series, but mm. the ending was so convoluted and it was almost like, oh, these guys are so bad that it took like a thousand magicians to like hold them back and then like yeah. seal all the worlds off. Thomas hits a rock with a sword or some shit yeah. and then it's like, oh, it's ended yeah. now. We yeah. killed the guy. Yeah, we'll just like leave, leave it in the, in the stone. Yeah. And no one touch it. The, yeah. No <laughs> one we'll, tell anyone and we'll just form this order to protect it and nothing will go wrong in the future. You I know fear. what we'll do is we'll just put that on the island that goes backwards in time <laughs> like you know what I mean but it's oh, this is bullshit yeah, like, it's... the whole end thing was bullshit but I did enjoy the black ge- gay stuff like the defending of that there's like a city mm. and it's like slaves in there. Fun, yeah. the siege and, like, and there's like a weird thing underneath the ground that it. like seeps this oh, like flammable yeah, fluid like... kind of like oil yeah yeah that was cool and they blew the whole fucking place yeah. up and then like they go to this fortress and it's like the last fortress of like of Crondor's area mm. and they're like Black Gee and then Aruta's mm. like oh yeah Black Gee's like he's a good guy don't worry about it but you have to be aware that like there's like a million bad guys coming mm. now and then the, the guy's just like oh no we couldn't do nothing about it like it's just the, the, oh, that yeah, whole yeah, thing was right. it was um it was there to like race out of that yeah fortress and then it's like I don't know just that seemed silly to me as well like I I guess in, as a reader I enjoyed seeing that like it's seeing the power of the enemy yeah seeing like the heroes sort of fail a little bit but like Arut has done all these things through these other books mm. he's like a hero he's a well known hero and then when a captain who's just a regular kind of captain yeah, sees yeah. him and he's like I'm not gonna believe you yeah yeah it just seems a bit silly it's, to me it's just um a good example of like a delusional bad leader who doesn't want to give up the yeah, power they yeah, have yeah um, which I thought was believable um, they're just a very delusional person obviously mm. and cause like they knew he was a prince but he's like but you're not my prince whatever yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. That, 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 that's, that's good yeah. um, there was cool things in it I did enjoy it and there was a weird thing I think sometimes when he has a great idea and he doesn't explain it fully that's probably his uh mm that's probably his the the best way he does it like when he doesn't explain how jimmy does things right like you think jimmy's this amazing guy because he's yeah. suddenly appeared here or suddenly done something and he hasn't explained it. i think those unexplanations of things as good like there was a part in the book where they go to a world where all the gods were and yeah. like two gods died but they stitched the bodies together and they made new god out of it and it was like oh sadness and war got like okay. killed and they got stitched together and they made like um pestilence or something like that it was something weird or like happiness and something got right. stitched together and they were like made joy or something 
Huh. And I thought it was an interesting um, way of like creating a god, but also like fleshing a sort of like god system out. Right. Yeah. yeah, it was cool. And they had to go to the land of the dead, but that wasn't fully explained either. Mm-hmm. And that seemed cool, like the explanation of it seemed cool. Yeah. Like the um, like the description, should I say? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So, so I thought it was okay. Anything else you want to check in? Um. Not a whole lot. I mean. It was good, but nothing like blew my mind. It, it's definitely my least favorite out of the series so far. But it's like it's not bad. Same. Yeah. Um, I thought it was cool how they uh, all grew beards and like became bad guys or sort of whatever. Whatever they they sort of like became mercenaries or whatever just to get into that area. And they oh okay. They had to become not what they were sort of thing. Yeah, is that around the time when? They're like in this tavern or something. Yeah, I think so. And, and they had to steal like horses this, and shit yeah. like that. They, I don't know, something weird. I feel like it was a tavern they visited in Sil- Silverthorn. In Silverthorn, yeah. I think that's probably what I got. I think there was a part in Silverthorn that I got mixed up in. Right. And I was like, I don't know if this is in the second or third book. Yeah, there are definitely a couple. Like, even when I was talking about that, I was like, oh, did that happen in Silverthorn or was that this one? Mm. Yeah, a bit Overall, though, good stuff. Good stuff. I mean, I, I thought the narrator was good too, but. Yeah, he does a really good job. Eh? Um, Peter Joyce or something? Uh, I can't remember. Uh, but yeah. um, do you know what the series after this is? Is, is that the one set from... Uh, in like the different... Because obviously the yeah. Rift War as a whole is like 30 books or something. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But I, I've i seen lots of different Rift War saga books yeah. and like... I don't know what the... I don't know what the order is. Right. Because um, there's like at least one or two, or maybe more. Of the one set. in Calawane. Yeah. Yeah, I think that'd be cool. It's like the Empress's daughter or something, some shit. I, I'd try it out and see what it, what, how it goes, because... Yeah, it'd be interesting. Yeah. Uh, I mean, as a series, it's um, this trilogy has set up like a great world that a lot more things obviously can happen. <laughs> mm. And it's like, um, like it worked... But the other thing is, like, not a lot of people died, eh? Like, I suppose not. Like, um, and you don't hear anything about the from, like their parents and shit, eh? Yeah, like, like what happened to Martin in it? Um, he was wasn't he with like the Black Gee kind of story storyline? Because yeah, I, but... I I do remember him. He was the one. Was he the one who made it through the bit where like no one else can make it back from? Or yeah, he did. Yeah, because he's a hope. Like, yeah, of course, if anyone's gonna make it. It's but I think it would be really impactful he died I think actually you're right because like there's that bit where I think it's from his point of view before he sets off somewhere yeah he's like humming and hurrying about getting married he's like oh I don't, yeah, I don't know if married. I could yeah and then like he finally like makes that decision at the end hmm. it would be more impactful like when someone like has hopes and dreams then you kill them off yeah but the other thing is he's also like a lancer hero he's not the main hero he's a secondary mm. hero but he's someone you've been with from the original book yep. that is interesting then has maintained his interesting level yeah there's the a lot of questions time. around him so it's like uh, from the get go yeah so it's like he's a woodsman then he becomes a prince almost and then yeah, he, he was, was like a bastard yeah child bastard child who's yeah. like legitimized he could have been king could have been king yeah. yeah then like uh yeah the whole extra stuff in uh, the third mm. book mm. Yeah, so you're killing him off, but also toying with the whole marriage thing would be awesome. I think. Mm. I think. I think the only person who dies is like Jimmy's friend or something. Oh no, Jimmy's friend's lover. There's, there's two like female warriors that Jimmy and his mate had, like shack up. Oh with, yeah, that and that she was, dies, um, and I was like, Ooh. <laughs> I, because there was a bit of character development with with that secondary guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. What's um, his name? I don't know. Don't care. Don't know. Not enough yeah. to care. Um, I actually quite liked that bit. Yeah, it was good, eh? Yeah, I just I wish I could remember the guy's name. That's but. what I mean. Like the little things and like the little ideas he had, he has a good, and they're uh, they're really good. But if he doesn't flesh them out too much, they're good. Mm. And sometimes he fleshes things out, and that doesn't lead anywhere. But you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so yeah, I thought that was really good. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. Um, but that's darkness of Sethanon, really, yeah. Yeah. Six, uh, both, eh? Yeah, six of both. Mm. Sounds good. 